What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Sukoden. In the last part, we captured some bandits and we're home for supper. Finally, home sweet home. Young Master, I'll prepare some food right away. Phew, I'm stuffed. Sure beats dried meat been eaten. Finally, some food fits for humans. What are you talking about? You ate the food in your stomach. <laughs> Got a point there. Young Master, I made some tea. Ted's late. They said he'll be right back. The stew's getting cold. Uh. Young Master, what in the pond? Give us a hand. Ted, what happened? All this blood and this wound. It's not natural. Magic? What are you doing? Bring him immediately. Young Master, give us a hand. It doesn't matter whether you do or not, so I'm gonna help anyway. Right. Put your hand on my shoulder and heave ho. What happened? Was he attacked by thugs on the way from the palace? But why would he have a magic wound? He's coming around. Uh, oh, I didn't catch that. Help me, Tur. Relax, everything's fine. Tell us what happened after you calm down. Romeo, I. It's something that happened inside. Hurry up, will you? I'm starving. Keep quiet. Wait, Commander Critters is seeing Lady Wendy now. All right, Ted, follow me. Okay, okay. It's been a while, hasn't it, little man? You haven't changed the band in 300 years. I'm envious. You, you're that witch. Oh, now, you remember me. Do you? That pleases me. Of course you have never left my mind for a moment. Now, give me that rune you have in your right hand. No way, I'd rather... What are you doing? It's the curse rune, the soul eater, it's power. Don't be a fool, if you use that here, you'll destroy yourself too! And hopefully it will have destroyed Kanan. Tur, please. Hey Ted, he's passed out again. What's going on here? Seems the Imperial Guard was after him, but how can that happen? What are you accusing Ted of? He's a good boy. I don't know, Cleo. Maybe we better contact the Imperial Guard. Why? Your best friend would never do anything to harm the Empire. Why should you, we call the guard? Well, we can't be sure. We can't cause problems while Master Teal is away. Well, then we'll... Well, then, we'll wait till Ted wakes up. Young Master. Ted's fever isn't getting any better. I'm going to wake up the shopkeeper and buy some medicine. Smart idea. Apparently I lost control of the main character. It won't stop raining. It's a nasty rain. Gives me the shivers. Uh He's waking up. I'm sorry to be a bother. Forget it. What did you mean by soul eater? Turret, please, will you do something for me? What is it, Ted? Sir, take off my right glove. What's this? Not one of the 27 true runes? Yes, it is. This is one called Soul Rune. Uh, Soul Eater. Curse Rune. Source of all this trouble and reason why court magician Wendy is after me. Why Lady Wendy? Why would she do such a thing? I don't know why, but... That witch wants this rune. I've been wandering the world for 300 years, trying to escape her. I never thought she'd find me here. My mistake is using the rune's power at Mount Sifu. Is that what you used? Is that what you used to blow away the Queen Anne? Tur. With this wound, I'll never escape from that witch. I hate to bring friendship into this, and knowing it will bring unhappiness. But, but... I didn't catch that. This curse rune will never... 
must never fall in the hands of Wendy. You are the only one I can trust. Please take it. Please take this room. Now take it, Ted. Don't worry. Thank you, Turk. This room may bring you suffering. If it does, blame me. But you must never, never let it fall into Wendy's hand. Give me your right hand, Turk. That's some pretty cool animation. It's like a 16-bit looking game. And we received the curve room earlier. And now I can relax. Yes? That's right, follow me, Grumio. Yes, Cleo. Looks like somebody's barging in. Now, uh, one real, one little thing about Ted, as far as continuity concerning uh, Sukhoi Four. Apparently, the plotline takes place about w between one and two hundred. It's either one, two, or five hundred years before the events of Sukhoi One. That's why he has the Solar Rune. But it doesn't make sense because he's been wandering around for about 300 years trying to escape her. I don't know. He even says he's over 300 years old. Oh wow, well, I'm not going to make sense of the game. So young Master McDowell is here too. Give us Ted. You know he's here. Loyal Pond here told us. Pond, you... Why Pond? How can you do this? I can't allow any trouble to happen while Master Teal's away. I can't lose his trust. Me. Please understand. Drag Ted out. I won't allow it, Chris. No one, even a commander of the Imperial Guard, there without Master Teal's house without just cause. That's right. I swear on my hatchet I won't let you pass. Wait. So you're giving up, huh? To I think I still have Soul Eater up. Be the bait while you escape. Then what about you, Ted? All right, young master. With that wound, Ted will never get away. Quite, Grimio. You... Quite, Grimio. Young master knows it too. But he must keep his promise to Ted. To leave him right away. Right, young master? H hurry. I understand, young master. Let's escape through the back of the kitchen. Now, uh, real quick. Uh, if you say no, uh, the game will loop itself until you say all right. Thank you, Tur. In 300 years, you are my only, my only true friend. And immediately we got to find like some sort of warm shelter. I think the best place is the end. Oh my! Why are you the younger Master McDowell? Want the come on in. What's going on here? Imperial soldiers running around? Well, you come in scurrying in. You come scurrying in something wet? What the? Oh, well, forget it. You probably can't tell me about it. Don't worry. You're welcome to hide out here. I'll put it on your tab. Thank you so much. Young Master, we better make ourselves scarce for a while. But good heavens, I never thought we'd ever. I think our only alternative is to travel north and ask Master Teal for help. For now, we better figure out a way to escape Greg Meister. Young Master, try not to wander about. Don't worry, I'll try not to wander about. And, uh, let's talk to him real quick. Oh, I was so hungry I couldn't help myself. What shall we do? Oh, ouch. Watch where you're going, you little runt. I get called to duty on a holiday, sent out searching for someone all night, finally find a moment to catch rest, and you come along? Uh, we better try to be inconspicuous. It doesn't matter what pick. Well, I'm just gonna go with that. Oh, you little runt. Who do you think you're, you are bumping to me and not apologizing? What kind of upbringing did you have? Hey, wait a minute. You look familiar. Young Master, are you alright? Hey, you. 
do you think you are? Who are you? What's this young master business? You, show me your face. You look like that fugit McDolkin. What did you just say? Name more of a fuss and we're in big trouble. Young master, get away while we hold them off. Guess we have no choice. Here we go. That's enough, young fella. You too, Imperial Big Shots. Use your heads with fugitives a lot be hanging around here. It could be that stupid. But I suppose you're right. We just want to be sure. Stop it, you're scaring them. Leave it to me to kick them out. Hey, wait a minute. They got him out in a hurry. <laughs> Don't worry, there's no reason why we should be so loyal to them. Hey, it's that guy. Thank you very much. No big deal, I was just wondering how to pay for my meal and... You mean... You did that just to bulk the... Come, come, let it go, eh? Well then, thanks for helping us out. What's the matter, you look troll? <laughs> I know who you are, that Rebel McDole kid, right? We're not rebels. I couldn't care less either way. Incidentally, how do you plan to escape this place? I have an idea. If you care to listen, I am used to this kind of thing. Interested? Alright, help us out. Leave it to me, but I have one condition. Here we go. It's not a big deal. If you succeed in escaping it, I'd like you to meet someone. Small request, right? It's a... So it's a deal? Let's hurry. First we must get to the palace gate. Don't worry, I won't... And you are to Imperial. And Victor joins the party. And as always, I got put arrow people in the back row. Now, that little event, there's a reason why I went over Ted's character real quick. Well then, I'll go talk to him. Just relax and wait here. What the heck is he doing? Give him a blowjob? Everything's okay. Make sure you hide your faces. Yeah, you're doing a real good job hiding your faces. Sure's hot around here. I think I'll go in the shade. Phew, we did it. I thought my heart would burst. How did you do that? No big deal. I just gave him a little gift. Imperial soldiers act tough, but money's their weakness. That's the state of things in Imperial Capital. Corruption is everywhere. Everything's about to come apart at the seams. That's too bad. So, how did you bribe him? He told us he had no money. Why should I use my own money to help you get away? What do you mean? Hey, my wallet, when did you... Here you go, I suggest you keep a better eye on it. And now for our little promise. You haven't forgotten, have you, little fella? It's Master Turn. Okay, Master... So it's Master Turn. I'd like you to meet someone in Lancap. Agreed? It's a promise. Fine, let's get going out of here. Lancap, it's due set. Here. Alright, simple enough. Just go south of Greg Meister, get the Lancap. Here we are in Lancap, sure. Not much of a place, but they do make fine tea here. <laughs> Well then, it's about time I got to work. Let me go make some arrangements. I may be late, so take a look around. And I didn't catch the first bit, so I'm just gonna skip for the second one. Now, uh, one other place most towns is gonna have is what's called a blacksmith. What blacksmiths do is they uh, blow up your weapons. No matter how many rune pieces will be how potent that element is for the weapon. And level up the air sword a couple of times. Hatch it a couple of times.
Yeah, I think level 3 should be good for right now. Except for, uh, Young Master, then 5 should be fine. And I'll stay. So you're for the victors. Well, then I'll have the best rooms prepared for you. I guess what's his name? Victor. I have never returned. But we didn't make any other plans. Let's wait a bit. If he still doesn't show up, we'll head north. Perhaps Master Teal can help us. Cleo, why the pond? Don't, Grammyo. Apparently somebody's breaking in. What's going on at such a late hour? Heard dead fugitives here. Sir, I guess they're asleep. Shut up, do you plan to harbor, harbor rebels? Young master, they're coming for us. Victor, you must rat us out. I knew we sh should trust them. This doesn't look good. They'll find us for sure. What should we do, young master? Uh, let's fight. Doesn't really matter what you pick. Yes, young master. I, Grimio, will protect you with my life. Oh, stop it, Grimio. He was kidding. There's too many of them. Calm down. How would you know? Like, could you see through walls or something? We're in big trouble now. Grimio, maybe we can get young master out before. This way, hurry. Who was that? Interact with the clock. And a girl named Odessa pops out. What are you waiting for? Hurry, do you want to get caught? Who are you? Where it is, thank God. So you're the new friends that Victor told me about. Everyone's waiting. Follow me. So Terry, you must have had a tough time. It, but it was exciting, wasn't it? What's going on here? I didn't think I'd give myself away so soon. Oh well, now that you met Odessa. Odessa? That name rings a bell. You don't mean the Rebel Army. Rebel Army? We prefer to call ourselves the Liberation Army. But who cares about names? Let me introduce myself. I'm Odessa Silverberg, leader of the Liberation Army. How do you do? Victor, are these people... Are these the people you want to meet? That's right. Prepare... So for a surprise, this here is some General Teal McDowell, and a fugitive to boot. Don't you think he'll be a great asset to the Liberation Army? You gotta be kidding me. Why should Young Master join the Rebels? Right, Young Master? Uh, maybe I should join the Liberation Army. So he says he's interested. No way! Recently, many of our hideouts have been discovered. There must be a spy among us. With all the problems we... Ray have. We can't afford to recruit complete strangers. I guess you've all been fooled by Victor as well. Where he takes a liking to someone, he just drags them in. But they do appear to be hunted by Imperials, and the town's still full of soldiers. You may still till things blow over. What a decision me. You make afterwards is up to yourselves. You've gotta be kidding me, young bastard. Join the rebels? No way. Rebels? Liberation Army? Well, why not? Maybe we should become true rebels. On the other hand, what would Master Teal think? Uh, let's go outside and think about it. <laughs> and looks like that pirate got drunk and fell down the stairs. Uh, are you alright? I, I must tell Lady Odessa. Let's take him inside. Where are we? Don't worry. This is the Liberation Army Hideout. Have you a message for me? You must be Odessa, thank goodness. I'm what the Mount Sifu bandits and... But we only attack the rotten Imperials. Anyway, the other day the Imperial Guard came over captured our bosses, Varkas and Sondonia. Varkas and Sondonia, could they be? Shh, be quiet. Lady Odessa, please help Varkas and Sondonia. That rotten Grady of Rockland strung them up to start to death. Outrageous! Execution without trial? In my Imperial law, that's a little How awful! Well, Odessa, Imperial surveillance has been taken intensely. We have to keep a low profile. I'm aware that we're understaffed. The bandits asked for help. We can't them down. 
Uh, might as well admit it's our fault. What do you mean it's our fault? We, uh... Yeah, we kind of went to her base, captured them. So this is kind of our fault. Well, even if you didn't know what you were doing, you still have to claim responsibility, right, sir? You must rescue Varkens and Sundonian. I'll help you, too. I agree. I don't plan to betray the Empire, but Grady is unforgivable. You're right. Undoing Grady's wrong would be good for the Empire. Besides, if young master gives the orders, I will follow. Thank you. Varkens and Sundonian are strung up at the home. Rockland's military command. If you don't hurry up, they'll dry up. Please help them. Sure, I beg of you too. Victor, you go too. Leave it to Victor. Let's get going to. Ro tur uh, tur uh, let's get going, Tur. Rockland, here we come. And Victor joins the party again. Which means Cleo must go to the back row again. Okay, I'm still about 20 minutes, so I'll cut out here and I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day.